What's up everybody, Justin Hayes here from superhumanpursuits.com and today I wanted to talk about posture and movement in their relationship. Both of these concepts, when I started digging into fitness and uh, you know my kind of road to understanding all this stuff, this was one of the most important concepts for me to wrap my head around personally and I think it helps uh, for anyone starting out in this to get a simplified version, understanding of what these two things are and how they relate to each other. So posture is, you're probably familiar with it, it's just static in the way your body stacks up, you know, whether your head's forward, uh, your shoulders are forward, how your hips sit, you know, do you tuck back, forward, uh, all those things, uh, you know, there's identifiers all throughout the body, right? And a movement is simply just you know, how you move. How, what range of motion does your arm go through, right? How does it look when it goes through certain ranges of motion? Same thing, you know, when, you, when you bend at the hips, how does it look? Uh, when, when, you, you know, when you look down, look sideways, what, what kind of range of motions do you go through, right? And so what these two things have in common is this, right? Both of these are just a reflection of what's going on inside uh, your body, your musculature, right? And so, let's say I have a forward shoulder on my left side. Uh, in my posture, you're looking at someone, it's that, I look at my shoulders in the mirror and I say, ah, you know, I, I got a tucked shoulder. Well, really all that is is a reflection of what's going on through here. So, if your shoulders tuck forward, likely you have a tight pectoral muscle, uh, you know, you might be tight here in your neck flexors, and, and you're weak right through here. You're weak in the back of the shoulder and the shoulder musculature. And so those things aren't supporting you right, and therefore your shoulder shows, it, it physically shows what's going on, right? Now, in the same concept, if I were to move through this range of motion, right, using my shoulder musculature, if, if I have tight pectorals and weak back here, the way I move is gonna be a direct reflection of that, right? And so that's how these two things are related. Posture, physical posture, a tucked forward shoulder is a sign of, of poor posture. And in turn, that's also a sign of poor movement. Same thing holds true for the opposite. If I move poorly through this range of motion, the likelihood that I have poor posture is the same. And so what these two things help us do is you identify problems inside your body, right? You identify what's going on. Posture can be a good identifier, as well as movement. And you use these things to assess where you're at and where you need to go. I look at my posture and I say, oh, I have poor, uh, uh, you know, my shoulders tucked forward, right? And so I have those things I discuss. So my pectoral muscles are tight, so I'm gonna need mobility work through there, myofascial work, and maybe some stretching, right? And in turn, my, my muscles in the back here are weak behind my shoulder musculature and the things that support these uh, uh, movements, right? And so I need work on my backside strength-wise. So maybe I need to incorporate some rows or some sort of, uh, uh, you know, band work to kind of directly hit those areas back there. That's why these two are important. Uh, that's why there'll be something that I discuss a ton going forward, is these two help identify what's going on in your body and how you can correct it. And that is the baseline to anything you do fitness-wise and athletically. Understanding these two things and which direction you need to go in to correct them is the baseline for good fitness and health. And that's all for today. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, I'd love to hear any different ways to explain this or better tips and tricks. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. If you have any questions, suggestions, or general feedback, please feel free to leave me a comment below. You can also get in touch with me on Twitter at Justin M. Hayes, H-A-Y-S, or at my website, www.superhumanpursuits.com.